Men are behind bars in a murder scheme that's gripped the St. Louis area for days. They are accused of hatching a plan to kidnap and steal from this woman before killing her. Michelle Hampton from Clayton was found dead on a North City street last week. Right now, Emmanuel Suarez and Anwan Mosby are facing federal and state charges. Chief investigative reporter Lauren Traeger has been following the twist and turns in this case. Anwan Mosby appeared before a judge today on a charge that could ultimately end with the government taking his life, too. He answered simple questions, yes or no, as he's now in the custody of the feds and the case moves forward. We take this very seriously. Assistant U.S. Attorney Ashley Walker says many agencies work together to ID and arrest these two defendants. It, it is of utmost importance to us that we seek justice in this case, particularly for the victim, Michelle. Michelle Hampton was abducted from her Clayton home Friday, prosecutors say, and later found shot in an alley on Greer in North St. Louis. In their official documents, prosecutors provided pictures of one of the vehicles involved, a yellow Dodge Ram truck. In one picture, you can see Michelle Hampton in a red shirt in the back seat as she attempted to withdraw cash from an ATM. First Alert 4 Investigates has confirmed that truck was stolen on October 24th from an auto auction business in Bridgeton, along with two other cars. Only a juvenile was arrested, so it's not clear if Mosby or Suarez were directly involved. Mosby appeared in federal court Tuesday. He's facing a federal kidnapping charge, which could result in the death penalty. He's also charged with 20 other counts in state court, including murder. Suarez is also facing similar state charges for murder and robbery and a federal charge of felon in possession of a weapon. Both have extensive criminal histories and have been to prison in the past. Prosecutors say Michelle Hampton's sister claims she had been romantically involved with Mosby. She said she told him that Michelle was holding on to about $40,000 dollars in cash for their brother. Though both were at large after the kidnapping and murder, police tracked Mosby down and then they say he confessed to much of the crime, including shooting Michelle Hampton. Suarez was tied to the crime through DNA evidence on a water bottle left in the yellow truck and a cigarette butt too. Prosecutors crediting solid police work for bringing them to justice. All the agencies have been very cooperative, have been very congenial. They've been talking to each other quite often and that's how we were able to get some results so quickly. The assistant U.S. attorney said she could not say if anyone else was involved due to the ongoing investigation. She also said that it's too early to know if they will in fact seek the death penalty for Mosby. Meanwhile, it does appear that the federal cases will move forward first before those state cases take over, but we will certainly keep tracking them. I'm Lauren Traeger, First Alert 4 Investigates.